everybody welcome back to minecraft uh with yours truly arcane you can see i got some uh shaders going today for today's episode um i've also adjusted some of the uh resolutions and stuff and things you know to try to keep this game running nice and smooth for us i think it's kind of nice for us to actually have some shaders in the game and actually we got dramatic skies for a uh, texture pack going on upstairs um, let's take a look at some of this stuff, alright? Um, let's go over to resource packs, and we're going to kill Dramatic Skies and hit done. And you can see I got a whole mess of other stuff in here too. Now, I'm not exactly too sure how this is working, but uh, I'm recording this. Let me go ahead and pause this, guys, because Minecraft is evidently not responding. And I'll be back with you guys whenever uh, we get back into the game here. All right, and welcome back. All right, so what I did is I took off the resource pack, uh, Dramatic Skies. And you can see we got ourselves a nice, clean blue sky. But there isn't a cloud in there. So I was I was using the Dramatic Skies. It's kind of an old, old, old texture pack. And I really love that mod. It's actually really cool. Um, I've been doing myself a lot of fishing, by the way. Um, and it's one of the things I actually want to do today is I want us to build a... Uh, better fishing room for us you know this looks nice cool all right so to show you guys this let's get up here and i can show you guys what we got here and it's a generic fishing farm okay i wanted something to gain some xp because i sat i was sitting out here all right i was sitting right over here let me show you guys this all right i was just sitting up here casting a rod and I did this little type of thing, you know, it's really for nothing, but it was just for show, you know. I kind of figured, hey, it'd be nice if we could just cast her rod and just chill out here and wait for a fish to come along and <laughs> do some fishing. And I've been enjoying this with some shaders. And I wanted to bring you guys in here and show you. There you go, here comes a fish. So I've been doing all this manually and... We got ourselves a lot of saddles. We got ourselves a lot of books. And yeah, a lot of saddles. A lot of fishing rods. A lot of cool things. You can see I still got some uh, dark phones, posts, and stuff and things like that. We'll just take these. Um, oh, my inventory's full. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's hop inside our house here. You guys might have some lag spikes here and there, but we're just going to come inside of here. Put some fish bait away, and I'll show you guys what that's what for anyways. You can't eat it, but we catch things with it. Um, one of the things that we need to do is we're going to have to craft ourselves a uh, bookshelf. Now, how to craft a bookshelf is rather interesting. We're going to just shove that in my hand for right now. Um, let's see here. We got six of these. All right, so let's go ahead and take all six of these, and I think we're going to need three of those. Okay, and we're going to go ahead, do them, bada bing, bada boom, there we go, and we're going to grab this right here, and using Bibliocraft, we're going to make ourselves a bookcase. Something to put all our books in, you know, so they ain't all up over the place. There we go. Book, some birch bookshelves. Yeah, that ought to accent this place real nice. Here, let's just go ahead, we'll do one of them with this. Now, I thought about we could put them, like, right here, and then I looked at it, and I was like, you know what? No, 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 no. Don't worry about this stuff, guys. <laughs> That's just something totally different. So, I was looking, and I was like, you know what? It'd be really nice for us to have a bunch of bookshelves, you know, that kind of line this place as we come in the house. So, if we just, like, had a bunch of these, you know, we stack them right here, we stack them over here, and we open this thing up. Now we can put all these books inside here. You know, we just randomize them. And we put some inside of here, too. There we go. Maybe we want to put some down here. Um, let's just take a random book. Just put them down here. You know, <laughs> I think it looks pretty neat. You know, it's just interesting to uh, have ourselves a bit of a bookshelf. You can move the things around. You know, they don't necessarily all have to be in the same space. And there you go. We got ourselves a bookshelf. We can store all of our enchanting books in here. You can see we got sharpness. We got protection, mending, reading. Um, look at this stuff. It's just nice. Did I just go through this one? 
that's reading. Okay, what about down here? We got fire protection. We got some feather falling four, which is really nice. Looting three and sweeping edge three. Now that would make really good for a diamond sword. We got efficiency four as well. So we can add, we can do all kinds of cool stuff. Let's turn that music off. Uh, music and sounds. Music. Goodbye. Thank you. And done and back to game. So, I set this little thing up over here, and I'm not going to lie, I put the game on peaceful, because I had creepers coming up and blowing up on me all the time. <laughs> but, uh, we're about to end that today, alright? Let's take this fish farm, and let's go build this thing someplace else. You know, somewhere neat. Uh, we could use the city. Yes, we can. I had a skeleton out here. So, a place that we could put our fish farm... Hmm, I'm not sure. I did remove the Simply Corn mod. It was... The crops, they just look ugly. Alright. There's one other thing I actually want to show you guys. We're going to come over here towards the swamp. And I actually wanted to show you guys this. Alright, so let's get up here. Alright. This swamp, it looks beautiful. But look what else we got in here. We got a witch hut. We got a witch hut right near our base. And that is really cool. All right. That is so awesome. Now, there's one other thing I actually want to keep in mind is that I want to finish up this house over here for a very good reason. We got apple trees. Lucky. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's get that out of our inventory. <laughs> Alright, so let's go down here into our mines. Woo, spooky. Yeah, we might need some extra torches in here. That's just... Eh. Can we uh, place a torch anywhere? Like, is there somewhere we can place this? Aha. Aha, right there. Woohoo! So our mine shaft, I came down here and I went the whole way down as far as I possibly could to do some mining. We do got ourselves a good chunk of enemies in here, but we also got ourselves a cave. All right, I'm digging this place out right here, and it is big. It's big. This right here is going to be known as the King's Chamber, all right? Um, we're going to be calling this the King's Chamber down here because it's going to... Uh, go off into various locations and what it is it's if we look over here you can see this is where all the cobblestone and i do got some soil sand i figured out how to make that um do i have it there we goes all right let's get going before something blows up on us i found some diamonds while i was in there what the heck was that Oh, that's something to do with... Okay, I know what that is. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Can we get any more of these apples and even ripe? Nope. Okay, cool. That's fine. Well, let's go ahead and let's use these sandy bricks to our advantage today, okay? We got this little location right here. Adds like a really nice staircase effect to us. So I want to do is, I want to kind of fix this up a little bit, you know, make it look nice. You know, it makes this really nice staircase effect for us. And I was thinking if we just come right across this and we're going to make our own staircase, you know, one that goes up. One that's actually nice and it'll actually come all the way up to about here. So we're going to do this same exact thing over here. Like, uh, let's see here. Where's this one at? This one is right here. All right. So if we have our staircase coming up this way. I know. I got a shovel. Let's use it. There he goes. Um... Let's see here. Our uh, thing, it goes one, two, three, right here. I'm going to place some more up in here. Mm-hmm. There we goes. Now, what I want to do is let's uh, 
using the dirt that we have. Let's see here. What kind of dirt we got? We got some dirt right here. Um, let's just kind of straighten this up here a little bit. Make it look nice and pretty. Uh, maybe go take ourselves a nap so we can see what we're doing. <laughs> I got to light this place up. It's a bit strange at the moment. <laughs> Let's go take ourselves a nap because I can't tell if it's night or day. <laughs> ah, better. All right, let's go inside of here and let's see what kind of staircases we got. We got some dark oak stairs, which will work out really nice if we had enough wood for it. Um, what do we have up here? We have stone bricks, but let's use some marble. You know, we like the we like the look of the marble. All right, uh, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this marble and I think we have to polish it up first. Yep, like so. There we goes, like so. And we're going to use our staircase right here. Not our staircase. There we go. This. There we go. Oh, we can't make stairs out of that. Can we do this out of it? No. This is all polished marble, right? Oh, I thought we could make stairs out of it. Oh, that sucks. All right. Um, right. Let's try this one then. Just regular marble. Can we use mar regular marble? Come on. Aha. Ooh, that's a lot of stairs. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's not the best kind of stair in the world, but it'll work. If we had some oak, it would actually accent it really nice. You know what else we could use is some slabs. Regular slabs. There we go. So let's grab some of these. There we go. And... Alright. So, how this is going to work right here... I know this isn't exactly what we're going to do. We're still going to work on it. But I want to make a, a staircase coming down to this. And. Yeah, it'll accent just like this. So, if we just. There we go. Um, we can place some dirt like. Uh, let's see here. Let's put some dirt right there. There we goes. Um, looks like we could use a little bit more right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this ought to work out nicely. And the texture seems to come along pretty nice as well. Hmm. We still got to do that fish farm, and I got to show you guys what all that bait's for. So let's finish up this little staircase right here. And I'll show you guys what all that bait's for. I think y'all might like it. Huh. Okay. We want to put this right over here. There we goes, and let's grab some slabby slabs, and there you go, that looks nice, that looks nice, so instead of using this for a roof, what I'm thinking is we could take that up by that, um, let's bring this up. You know, just kind of make it look like it uh, belongs here. So, let's see here. I want a one, two, one, two, one. There we go. And let's just bring this up. You know, bring it up. Make it look nice. Make it look even. I want to bring it all the way up here to the top. There we goes. And we're going to do this so that we could, uh, so that we can work off of this, you know. Just kind of work off of it with the landscape. I don't want to destroy the landscape any more than I have to. So there we go. So let's just let's just bring this thing up like so. Dang it! Misplacing blocks. There we go. Look how nice this looks with the shadows coming off of it, too. This looks really nice. It's better than working with it for, like, a roof like I was thinking of doing. Yeah, I don't like this being for, like, the roof. You know, it doesn't make... It looks like it'll make a nice, good border. 
coming along stuff like this so if we come down to where our farms are all going to be at they'll be all down here we're going to try to make these things a little bit more interesting so yeah here we goes let's go ahead and shove some of this stuff away and i'll show you guys what the bait trap is for all right so let's just dump everything in here for right now yeah i'm a bit unorganized it's a little bit unorthodox to be doing stuff like this but you know what I'm enjoying it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mending. Yes, that's a good bow. Um, we also got one that has infinity. Um, I want to put that up in here for right now. There we goes. Now, let's go show you guys what the uh, bait trap is for. And where that is. Alright. So, Pam's Harvest Craft has this thing in here. It's called a uh, thing. Look at this. You get bones. You get chicken. You get... What is this? We'll find out in a minute. Let's get it all in here. Here we go. Look at all this. And we got chicken eggs. Nice. All right. Let's hit E. And let's look at this stuff. We got turkey. We got chicken. We got feathers. We got leather. We got some beef. And we got some eggs. And what kind of farm are we missing, guys? We're missing chickens. And guess what? We just got them. <laughs> I love this little bait trap. It's awesome. And I didn't bring enough over here with me. I just filled that thing up. <laughs> so yeah one other thing that pam's harvest craft does add to the game is this all right can right click and copy just run right along the edge here and just scoop all of this up <laughs> i love it it's awesome we got pam's harvest craft into the game and look at all this food that it adds we got apples for days we got raw beef we got leather we got eggs we got turkey you know what? We could take these food up to the house and put it away. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Now, that apple tree, guys, I want to show you guys how I make that thing, all right? This is one of the best things I love about Pam's Harvest Craft. Oops. I might have just did that wrong. There we go. Boom. Now we can build ourselves an apple orchard. Ha <laughs> ha. And we can just put that apple in there. So now we got four more apple trees. And we got this one over here, which already gives us some, uh, which already gives us apples. So we can build ourselves an apple orchard. Awesome. That's something we could really use. And as this place comes together, oh, I'm going to love how this place comes together. This is going to come down to our farms. We're going to have nice little stairs. It'll come up over to here. We'll move all this stuff back. Mm. let's build that fish farm guys let's build that fish farm what do you guys say to that huh you want to build that fish farm you want to build that fish farm huh huh you yeah, want to build that fish farm i know i want to let's go build that fish farm that's what we came here for today let's go do that so some things that we're going to be needing all right so that i can do this off camera as our videos are recording all right we got all this stuff inside of here. A lot of fish. A lot of saddles. All these things. And we need, we're going to need a way to uh, sort all of this stuff. So I think we're going to have to make an inventory sorter for all that things. So that it makes really good. So let's go ahead and eat some stew. Mm, yeah, look at that pumpkin stew. Oh, yeah. We love pumpkins. All right. So... A fish farm. We need a place for it. And we also need to put some food away. Let's just go ahead. Bing, bing, bing. There he goes. We could put our fishing rod away for right now. We don't really need it. And I guess we, we got a lot of coffee as well. Um, fish farm. I think we can go ahead and use some of these with it. We'll grab some of that. Should we use some marble slabs? I'm not sure. Hmm, we should process some sand. Let's go down there and cook some sand up. So we got some glass. This right here, this canola stuff, it makes a lot of energy. I'll give you, I'll tell you guys that right now. This right here is our cooker. Watch this, we're just going to take this, we're going to put it in there. It's going to come down through here, and it's going to go inside of here, and it's just going to do its thing. Ha <laughs> ha! 
awesome. And it's got like infinite energy. I mean, we got this thing right here. It doesn't have a lens on it. Um, we can look at this thing right here. It's our oil generator. It's hooked up to this thing, which has like an infinite supply of canola. And I just take all the canola and I just boom, right in there. Look at this. We got canola for days. <laughs> What we need to do is we need to figure out a way of making a canola factory automated one, you know? Has like a deep storage unit. Ah, this is gonna be nice. Okay, so a place for our fishing farm. Hmm. I'm not too sure. Should we put it here? Or should we just build it? Let's go outside and take ourselves a quick nap here real quick. And I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to see what we can do. I can't, we can't sleep yet. Seriously? Are you kidding me? There's stars out. Let me sleep. I'll be back. All right, guys. I did a little bit of work, as you can see. I brought this wall out here just a little bit. It's got a little bit of a sidewalk. I'm unsure whether we want to use the uh, marble for a sidewalk at all because it makes it a little bit too uh, natural, in my opinion. Um, did some grading and stuff and things like that. But I was thinking, like, maybe, like, right in here, okay, if we could make our fish farm, you know, make it so it's in the ground a little bit, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe keep that up there. Let's keep that up there for right now, all right? And let's grab ourselves a little bit more extra slabs here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to dig inside of here. And we just lost our shovel. <laughs> all right, let's go grab ourselves another shovel. Um, adjust my microphone there so you guys can hear me a little bit better. Um, I think down here I have some Inori crystals. Um, where are they in the house? Shoot. Dang it. I came unprepared. <laughs> I thought I had another shovel. It didn't. Um, let's go inside the house. If we don't, we can always get a, uh, make an iron shovel. I don't want to make an iron shovel because they're a bit more expensive. You know what? That is not... Let's get this out of our hand, and we might as well put our... These things up in here, too. We know where, where they are, all right? We know where they are. Um, this should work. Yeah, we got two diamonds. We got to make ourselves an enchantment room, and we're going to do that next episode. For today, we're working on this stuff, so let's head over here, and let's just toss this thing down here. Do we got a redstone torch on us? Yes, we do. And we got this. All right, cool. So let's come over here and let's just toss this thing over here in front of that, like so. Take this, bada bang, bada boom. There we go. Get herself an Anori crystal, <laughs> and we need our pocket, our pocket on the stick. There we go. Now we get ourselves a better shovel, an Anori crystal. It uh, has more harvest level as two. But if we actually pull this out and just mine with it just once, a normal iron shovel only gives you 50 points, I believe. Yeah, a normal one only gives you 50. Um, now if we come in here, look, it gives you 30 extra just for using it. So I want to do is I want to mine this out here a little bit inside here. There it goes. There we and let's just, uh, do we have any torches on us? Yes, we do. All right, let's place this thing up on a wall here in here so we can see what we're doing here a little bit. Um, mine this out just a little bit more. I got to pay attention to my mip, my pit, my mip map over there. All right, so this is going to be our room where we uh, do our uh, 
Yeah, this is going to be the room where a fish farm is going to be. It does have to be open to the sunlight, but I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that right there. But We'll work with it. We'll work with it, okay? We're, we're going to work with that. Um, let's see here. What can we do to put there? Um, let's give me this dirt, and we're going to take the dirt, and we're just going to uh, bring it up. You know, just kind of fill that in right there. We can deal with the other stuff as we uh, work with it. All right, so this is going to be our little room. Now let's go take a look at this thing and see how it works. You know, how it, how it's put together. I did this using a YouTube video, so let's see here. Um, we need to put our chest down, obviously. So our first chest, we're going to need the hoppers. We're going to need the water. Um, let's just go up inside here. Let's just... There we go. So this thing, it goes one, two, three, four back, okay? It also takes some redstone, and we already have a, too much crap in our inventory. Here, just toss that in there. Um, all right, so what's the first thing we need to put together, all right? The first thing we need to put together is we need this, and we need the chest. Just break it with your hand. All right, that just went the whole way through, I bet. Come on, can I get my chest? Where is that? Right there. All right, cool. All right, and then we're going to need our hopper. Then we're going to need this lab. Pay close attention to the time. You know what? Let's just bring that bed with us, just in case. <laughs> Let's just bring the bed with us. Dump some stuff in here we ain't going to be using, like gravel, the flint. We ain't going to be using the cobblestone. We ain't going to be using the dirt. We can organize these chests another time. For right now, let's just give us, give us the bed. All right? Just give us the bed. <laughs> that way, if we need it, we could use it. Um, here we go. Lucky for us, this is pretty much where we spawn at, so... <laughs> Nighttime comes, we can just do one of these and bing, you can only sleep at night. It's sunset right now, so we're just going to keep an eye on that. Can only sleep at night. Come on, come on, come on. Give it. We want night. We want daylight. We want daylight. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. And you can hear our machine about out there going to work. <laughs> All right. So... Let's get this thing out of the way. Um, first thing we're going to need is saying we need a slab, okay? Now, we got these. So let's just go ahead and we're going to do one of them. Um, let's put our uh, chest right here. Um, wrong place for it. All right, let's put our chest here. Um, a slab on top of it from what I what it looked like and then it looks like we need to put a uh, slap this right here this right here um, looks like we need one more on the back side maybe I could be wrong um, did we grab that hopper yes all right hopper pointing into it um, We shouldn't need this one right here. We shouldn't need this one right here. Um, I think this goes right here. This goes right here. Whoa, we just placed two. All right, and this right here, this is where our string and the water is going to go right there. So I'm willing to bet this right here is where our door is going to go is right over here. Cool. All right, I think we got this one in the bag, guys. I think we got this one in the bag. Eat some food along our way, too. I think we got this one going. All right, run, 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 run as fast as you can. We want to build this thing. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, there's our hopper, which goes into the chest. 
Nice. Okay. And then we need the door. Uh, we need this. Um, I need that. I'm just going to tear the whole thing down for right now. <laughs> Alright, let's go down here and let's see if we can figure this thing out together. So, doopy doo doo, around the bend. This thing is going to, we stand right here. That goes right there. So we got to dig this out a little bit further. There he goes. Uh, shovel, please. All right. Um, inside of here, we can go ahead. We can place our water. It goes right here. Um, we have our tripwire hooks. Uh, one goes right here. One goes right here. We'll put the string on top of it. There we go. Let's get that out of our inventory. Um, backside behind that thing. Note block goes behind the door, I believe. So we'll just bing right there. All right. So what else do we need? I do believe we need redstone. And our redstone should be... Is this it? Is this how it works? Oh, goodness. Maybe I shouldn't have torn that down. No, the redstone goes out the backside, I think. Um, I do know the two slabs. They come across this, like so. Uh, one goes here, one goes on here, so the note block doesn't make any noise. Um... Let's put this right here. Now, above the water source, I want to... Right above the water source, we want to have direct access to sunlight. So, we're going to have to put a piece of glass in there. We got some light stained grass. That for that. And the redstone. Oh, my goodness. How do I not remember this? Are you sure this doesn't... All right, let's test this out. Do we got our fishing rod on us? Yes, we do. All right, so we stand right here. Let's see how, if this works. Come on. All right, now let's check our chest. We can't open that one. And the reason we can't open that one is because it needs to go into something else. Alright, so we got... Do we have another chest? No. Let's go make a storage crate. That, these things seem to be really nice, just storage crates. Alright, we just use these regular vanilla chests. They really don't do too much. Um, do we got an axe on us? Yes. All right, let's go gather some wood and let's make ourselves a storage crate. That's these things over here because they store more and plus we can open them. I mean, look at this. I mean, why build a regular chest when you could use those? Well, those shaders are acting weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, give me this. And we go over here. Let's grab one of them. Mm -hmm. Just gather some extra wood. All right, cool. All right, so we want to make a storage crate for in there. Be nice if we could have two of them. I got to fill this thing in. It's annoying me right now. <laughs> All right, um, let's look this up. Storage crate. All right, we want the small one, which takes four chests. Okay, so let's use this. And how many does this give us? Four. Cool. 
All right, so we got our storage crates. We need a wood casing, which is a piece of log and some sticks. All right, so we need some of this. All right. There we go. We got that. Now we should be able to put this thing together. What's it need? It needs planks. Ooh. All right. So let's do one of them. And bada bing, bada boom. All right. So now anytime we do any fishing, if we get anything, it should automatically, we need to put a uh, hopper in here. So let's just... Let's just put our storage crate right there for right now. I think we're going to be using these things a lot. So, um, can I get underneath here a little bit without destroying anything? There we go. Uh, there we go. Nice. All right, so we got ourselves a little bit of a storage system. And we can upgrade this with, uh, you can see this, small to medium, medium to large. So, as we get better with this stuff... Um, we use some birch. We just need a medium storage crate. We can craft that. That's easy to craft. It's void crystal blocks. And to make void crystal blocks, all you have to do is place that in a, uh, take coal, for example, if we had any coal. Um, if we had any coal, we just place a coal block in front of this thing. Redstone torch this thing, and it will, uh, give us some void crystal blocks. I might have some coal. Let's go see if we got any. I can show you guys how to do this. It says we need four of them, right? All right. So how much coal do we got? Um, all right. We only need four. One, two, three, four. That's easy. All right. Cool. So let's go throw these in front of there and show you guys how we make this. All right. So if we have that small storage crate, if we go and yank that thing out. All right. This should be the only thing we need for storage. <laughs> Um, we're running right past it. There it is. Cool. All right. So we're going to take all these. One, two, three, four. All right. And zapper. And we got void crystal blocks. Ha ha. And remember those fireproof blocks we were talking about? And we really didn't have to worry too much about them. Now, this room inside of here, I should be able to take it and just slab it out. You know, it shouldn't hurt nothing just for us to come in here and just add a bunch of white slabs coming across the room inside of here. Maybe decorate it up a little bit. Look, make it look a little bit nicer than what it does right now. So we can just come right across this and just like, it ain't going to hurt. To just come right across this like this and just like boom, you know, just like clean it up a little bit, make it look a little bit nicer than what it really is right now at the moment. Um, but you can still come in here and you can do your fishing and it won't hurt nothing. So, yeah, we could just do one of these and it's nighttime. It's nighttime. Do we got a bed? It's nighttime. It's nighttime. Put the bed down. Put the bed down. Oh, come on. Seriously? Come on! Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the goal of today's episode, guys, was to build this little fish farm inside of here. Um, I can work on making this look nicer off camera. And, you know, we don't need all of this, all right? I could take stone bricks, and we could just, like... Some type of brick. Something that looks nice. And I was thinking, you know what? Why don't we just make a whole bunch of these and use them for the walls inside of here? You know, it'll make it kind of look nice. But I got to mine some more stuff up. But it does look cool. It does look really nice. But there's only one problem with this room. All right. There's only one problem with this room. Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> Can you guess what it is? We need to, uh, we need to block it off somehow because mobs, they can just quite literally walk in here on us right now. And we don't want that. Um, I'm going to take us polished marble and we're going to bring it up like so. Um, 
We need to be able to put a door in here. I don't know. We need to be able to put a door in here or else mobs are just going to walk in on us. I love to have an open area, but it's for the moment until we get this place uh, fixed up really nice. The uh, automatic fish farm, it's going to be out of business for temporarily. I mean, we can't do nothing. We can come in here and do our fishing, but I got to pretty this up. And I'm just going to record another episode after this. All right. So the next episode we're going to work on, guys, we're putting a roof on this house. I'm going to do it out of cobblestone. I'm not playing with this no more. We're going to do that roof out of cobble. All right. So I'm going to exit this video, guys. I'm going to uh, get it ready for editing and uploading. And let's finish up the house. All right. It's been sitting like that forever. And you guys just been sitting there looking at it and... I really hope you enjoy this episode, you know? But we really have to put a roof on this house. And we're going to do it out of cobblestone. I'd hate to, but we're going to have to. Um, if we hit... Yeah, I got applied energistics in here. Um, let's see what we could do here. If we hit chest. Alright, we get all these other things. You got... You can see I got forestry in here. We got all of these. Um, but if we go ahead and hit stair... Like, you got chestnut stairs for st that... <laughs> Let's look at the stairs real quick. Um, we can do elven quartz. How do you do that? Where do you get elven quartz at? Oh, oh, that looks cool. Um, purple. Oh, you know what would look really nice, guys? Oak. Not oak. Um, spruce. All right. We're going to go adventuring next episode for some stuff. And then we'll worry about finishing up this house. Yeah. That sounds like a really cool idea. We're going to go adventuring. Take care, everybody. Later. Whoops. Bye.